Hello everyone, welcome to today's class and our title today is Kicks Not Kisses. Let's move on to language focus. Ilbon. Late August should have been a time of celebration for sports fans in Spain, since the nation's women's soccer team won the World Women's World Cup on August 20th. Okay, as you can see, should have been is going to be what we're focusing on today. Now, we use should have been to express something that was not as desired or as expected. So, should have been, maybe in Korean, hesoya hetta. Uh, okay. Or like, uh, 이렇게 생각했는데, uh, so we thought about this, we had this thinking, but the result was different. So should have been. If we look at the example sentence. Last night should have been a romantic evening, but the restaurant messed up our reservation. So we had to wait two hours to get a table. So 어제 밤은 낭만적인 뭐 저녁이었어야 했는데 식당이 예약을 엉망으로 만들어서 자리를 잡기 위해 두 시간이나 기다려야 했어요. So they had a plan uh, to go to this restaurant. 예약했는데 그 식당은 잘못 예약했어요. 그래서 손님들은 두 시간 동안 기다렸어. So that's uh, something that was not desired or expected. Our vacation should have been a relaxing time, but it turned into a nightmare after all our luggage was stolen. It's like my biggest fear. 우리의 휴가는 편안한 시간이어야 했지만 짐을 모두 도둑 맞으면서 악몽으로 변했다. So, we expected to have a very relaxing holiday, but it was turned into a nightmare after all our baggage, our luggage was stolen. So, the, out, the wanted outcome was a relaxing holiday. The actual outcome was a nightmare. Okay, so should have been. Let's look at Ibon now. There's no denying it that the kiss was spontaneous, but apparently it was euphoric only for him, which makes him sound very, very perverted. Um, okay, so there's no denying, and we use this to acknowledge that something is clearly true. So one, one uh, cannot deny. It's like, uh, All right. It's clearly true. So, example says, there's no denying that checking social media is fun, but it can become a bad habit if you do it too much. Or SNS를 확인하는 것이 so from time to time, it's okay to look at social media, but if you continuously watch it, it, be it can become a bad habit. And our last example. That prank was a little mean, but there's no denying that it was funny. 그 장난이 좀 심하기 했지만 웃겼다는 것은 부인할 수 없다. We all know those situations where it sounds a little mean to do this prank, but it can sometimes be funny. Alright, now let's move on to the language focus quiz. 1번 Hmm, should have been a fun experience, but hmm. So when we said should have been, it was 
했어야 했다. So my example will be similar to the other example. The oops, the family trip should have been fun, a fun experience, but uh, everyone argued. So 가족 여행은 즐거운 경험이 되어 아 되어서야 했는데 모두가 다들 말다툼을 했다. So usually if you go on vacation with your family, it's supposed to be a very good time. But for many, it can lead into an argument. 이번 hmm should have been a good opportunity, but hmm say the promotion should have been a good opportunity, but uh, I ended up pushing myself too hard. So, 승진이 좋은 기회가 되었어야 했는데 내가 너무 무리했다. I thought it was going to be a good opportunity, but I just worked too much. 3번 There's no denying that is a great hmm. No denying or buin has so opta. So there's no denying that uh, Grace is a great leader. Grace ga wedan leader lan gosun buin has so opta. So she's a very good leader. This means very good leader. And there's no denying that hmm is tasty, but you shouldn't eat too much of it. Pizza. Ah, uh, pizza ga mas ah uh, masitanen gosun buin has so optiman no mo mani mo gomion an duenda. Yes, I wish I could eat pizza every day. All right, now let's move on to the further discussion. Ilbon, what do you think would have happened if R F E really took legal action against Hermoso as threatened? Um, so RFEF ga tongmaro wo hero mosa ege shopakul panen got chorom popchok jo chiru chi handamyon otoke dwell go katsimnika. She probably would have been banned from the national team. Uh, I think uh, countries like that still, you know, have. I don't know. I've never been to Spain. I can't say that Spain uh, still don't respect women compared to other countries. But it did seem like a very uh, big controversy in the whole of the World Cup. I, I remember that a lot of the team boycotted playing because of the coach. Um, and yeah, it's, it's sort of a, a bittersweet ending because they won the World Cup, but then a big controversy came out of it. And yeah, I think it's a little sad that this happened, but yes, I think the RFEF probably would have uh, banned her from the team or, you know, until she apologized, which she shouldn't have to. Ibom, if you had kids, would you worry about them participating in athletics because the dangerous of uh, harassment. Would you worry more about a daughter than a son? 만약에 아이가 있다면 uh, 괴롭 힘이 위험 때문에 그들이 운동 경기에 출전하는 것에 대해 걱정할 건가요? 아들보다 딸에 대해 더 걱정할 건가요? Um, so I have a daughter, and I do. I would like her to get into sports when she's a little older. I do worry about the dangers of harassment in sports. Uh, to, I don't know how I'm going to approach the situation. I would honestly, if possible, like to be there every time she's at that sports event, um, just to keep an eye on her. Uh, However, I don't want to be too overprotective, and sometimes it just won't happen. But yes, of course, as a as a father to a daughter, I think it's just uh, most fathers worry about their daughter. Most good fathers, anyway. Uh, a son, 
I uh, I guess yes, I would care less. Not care less, should I say? Worry less, because um, you know, as a as a man who was a young boy who played sport, I had no problem. But I don't know how the girls had it. Anyway, that wraps it up for today, and I'll see you on the next class. Spontaneous. Spontaneous. Mutual. Mutual. Euphoric. Euphoric. Consensual. Consensual. Manipulative. Manipulative. The tip of the iceberg. The tip of the iceberg. Bye.